you, Andrew, and thank you everyone for joining our presentation on target product profile, guiding cross-functional strategies for medical device and diagnostics. I really want to just emphasize that this presentation is focused on medical device and diagnostics. Uh, the target product profile concept is uh, a concept that's been around for a while, and it has been driven primarily from the pharmaceutical organization. So what I'm focusing on today is really about the medical device and diagnostic aspects. It's adapted from uh, the pharmaceutical target product profile concept. So the objectives for today are to cover the concept and principles of target product profiles. I'll share a little bit about the importance and value it can bring to your company, why stakeholder input, uh, and I'll share with you what types of stakeholders within your organization are important to include, why that stakeholder input is so important, and share a little bit about the process and the timing of the target product profile document creation and, and how it drives the strategy alignment among the stakeholders. And how target product profile also drives ultimate decision making within your organization, whether it be investments or prioritization of, of portfolios. And last but not least, I'll share with you a summary or a checklist for success in how uh, the target product profile can best be adapted for your organization and uh, for your products. Just a little history of target product profile. As I mentioned previously, target product profile is, has been primarily a pharmaceutical driven uh, tool. FDA released its draft guidance in 2007 and uh, saw it as a strategic development process tool. Uh, the FDA guidance um, was very focused on the labeling requirements for drug development, and it was set as a stage or a foundation for discussion between FDA and industry. Device companies, however, can adapt these principles that are outlined in that guidance. And uh, for purposes of this presentation, I'll be sharing some of those principles as well as other principles that are relevant to medical device and diagnostic programs. Target product profile is a common template that can be used for all products, all medical device and diagnostic products, regardless of the type, um, the user. So it is a user-friendly template that can be used across all products, all device companies. It is an important tool that should be used during the product development process. Typically, it should be reviewed uh, at stage gates to make sure that the content and the strategies are aligned and relevant. Um, so it is definitely an important tool for product development. This tool is the link for the labeling and the claims, the desired indications uh, that will help drive the preclinical and clinical health economics regulatory strategies. It is the foundation which really drives strategy development. With target product profile, I always like to say it is a concept that helps you to begin with the end in mind. What are the top things that you need to be able to achieve success in the marketplace, whether it be with payers or even just your customers? How can we understand today and in two to five years from now when the product, perhaps uh, when the study is complete, uh, making sure that the claims that we're looking at and the indications we're looking at today based on our unmet need are also going to be relevant in, in the future. <clears throat> it is an essential multidisciplinary tool. As I mentioned, there's multiple stakeholders involved in, in de developing this tool. It is a living document. And it does link discovery to the market launch or the market entry. <clears throat> However, there may be a, a chance where perhaps a claim that you've desired to go after um, may put you back into a discovery or early development mode. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind. And as I mentioned before, it does help align strategy development across the functions. It does require a disciplined planning approach. It takes uh, 
quite a while to get everyone around the table within the functions to really talk about what are the indications and claims you're going for, what is the best path forward for the product. And uh, all the while you're comparing your product to what is standard of care, what other competitors are out there that have the market share, and how can you best position yourself to take some of that market share, or perhaps put a product out that's innovative, um, that standard of care might be um, pretty antiquated and, and you can really achieve full market share.